Today, uh, what we're going to be going through is the Vintage Air Kit. Um, that's the AC and heater core kit for the C3 Corvette. I ordered this one through EcklerCorvette.com and uh, it shipped pretty quickly. It took a couple of weeks to get here. Um, from what I understand, Vintage Air actually builds these to order. So there you go. Um, what you get when you first order it is three boxes, like you see. Um, the smaller box here has the compressor in it. The uh, flat box on top has the um, uh, evaporator, I think is what that is. <laughs> and then the big box has all the other good stuff in there. And in case you're wondering what this is right here, that is actually a very awesome pinball machine. Um, I do restore and collect pinball machines and arcade games. That's another topic that I will probably have some restoration videos on. Um, as you can see, I have quite a few of these. Um, over here are a few more. And I also restore jukeboxes and uh, things such as that. So I'll have more, more videos about those coming up uh, in the future. But currently, let's just get down here and see what we get in these packages. So the small one over here is actually the compressor. So um, nicely packaged. Everything arrived uh, in really good shape. Um, and inside here, we have the brand new compressor, as you can see. I love this pulley. It's really pretty. Um, so yeah, and that looks perfect and beautiful. That's going to look really great on the end. Um, next up we have in this top box is around here. This is the evaporator. So basically inside here uh, you can almost see it. It's, I'm not going to open it up yet, but that's the evaporator. That's like the big radiator. And then there are some parts over here. And there's some brackets underneath. And I think that's pretty much it for that box. In the big box here, what we have are all the fun toys. <laughs> kind of all the fun stuff is in this box. So I have actually, like I said, I've opened this up already. So in in here is a bag full of all kinds of things. There are plate covers, um, a lot of tubing, this stuff similar to this, actually, this kind of tubing. Um, these instructions go with the little kit there's uh everything's nicely bagged um like this is the 68 to 76 vet ac panel conversion kit so inside you get these new uh it it transforms the ac from being vacuum controlled switching to electrical so if you're wondering what that is that's uh that's a control panel module for the AC and so that's what that little package is for so, oh, there's a lot of heavy stuff in there tubing and all kinds of good stuff here we have the plate uh, the cover plate because when you take the old AC off there's a big hole in your firewall so that's what that is for and it's kind of hard to see it's sort of dark in here sorry about that but the way it is for now. Um, we've got some tubing. We have uh, a new, um, uh, what you call it? It's the defroster vent um, duct. <laughs> and this this duct, I'm guessing, goes over to the driver's side uh, vent on the left. And then in here we have the heater core, which you can see here. Always good to go ahead and just replace the heater core in an old car like this. Because um, you really never know if it's bad or not. And I'll tell you what, the worst thing in the world is having coolant leak inside your car. And that smell is really hard to get out of carpet. So 
Um, if you're at all thinking about modifying your car's cooling or AC system or heater core at all, um, for example, if I was going to upgrade my heater core and I was also thinking, well, eventually I might want to upgrade the AC, I would recommend to myself <laughs> and to anyone else to go ahead and get this kit because it has the heater core in it. And of course, it's got all the AC components as well. So um, really, really good to have uh, all that all new if you're planning on doing any part of it. So that's pretty much it. I mean, there's this this big guy goes up under the dash. Um, and then that panel covers up the old hole. And then all the ducting goes into place wherever it is meant to go. And uh, there are a lot more pieces of duct in this bag. This bag has quite a bit of, of groovy stuff in it. Um, lots of tubing. Um, there are uh, hard lines are in here and more ducting and instructions and little tiny packages with all kinds of cool stuff inside. So that is basically what you get. And the next part is the fun part of installation, uh, which really includes dismantling all the old stuff and then installing the new stuff. So the next step will be uh, out there at the car, and I'll just do a walk around to see uh, what, what uh, that's going to entail and starting to remove components off of the car. All right, there was one more thing that I wanted to add, and that is uh, that while I am in the process of rebuilding the uh, AC system, I'm also going to be putting in this new cold case AC, uh, air, I, I can't speak at all right now, uh, radiator. <laughs> it's a solid aluminum. It's got the really wide... Um, well, I can't remember what they call it. There's a, it's a wide tube thing. When I get to that, I will talk more about it. Um, and I also got the Flexalite fan set up here. So um, one challenge I found with this is that the fins in this are too tight to really poke anything through there. And I did not want to use that as a structural mount for this fan. This is a sweet fan and it actually weighs a fair amount. So I used a couple of the brackets that came with it and some old zip ties and really tightly um, zip tied that to, uh, I don't know if you can see that, to the, to the frame of the radiator, the, the bottom frame. And then I did a similar thing here at the top with a couple of zip ties and zipped it there and um, that's how I'm going to try it at first I may need to modify that when I go to actually install this but anyway that is going to be really nice to have because this has a control module in it uh, the fans do that allow for um, different setup for air conditioning so you could have one that's always on and another come on when the car gets really hot or past a certain temperature, etc., etc. So that was something else I wanted to show you with regards to the air conditioner install. And then over here on my workbench, I have the, um, the center gauge cluster that I've been cleaning up and working on. I haven't yet done anything with the clock. Um, I've tried to see if I could get it working. But I'm really, I would rather not break it trying to get the stuff apart. I, I'd rather have it not functional at all, but just sitting in there looking pretty rather than breaking it and missing a second hand or something. So I need to look into that further. But I have got new um, of these guys. These little vents are brand new. And uh, I've gone through and I've meticulously cleaned all that stuff up and and this stuff which I need to be careful with because I don't want it to get scratched 
um, and the ball and uh, the shifter handle and all that I've cleaned and polished as well as some of these other parts like like the um, like the ashtray thing boy that slides really well now and I actually found this underneath the console somebody had painted it black it looked awful so I scrubbed it and cleaned it I will never use this for its intended purpose but I love having everything be original and clean and at least part of or with the car uh, one thing that was really nasty was this um, probably not a good idea to have copper sitting in the bottom of it because different kinds of metal don't play well together um, but the under the bottom of this is really nasty I figure maybe a mouse peed in there or something I don't know <laughs> um, so there's that and oh yeah and then the last thing that I'm working on as far as the console goes is this guy um, this is of course the original I have repainted this uh, sort of textured leathery looking part um, I'd rather repaint that with flat because the gloss looks kind of strange to me but it actually looks really pretty I'm not sure if I'm gonna repaint these or not um, I was thinking about taping this off and painting the inside sections there's an inside lip to this one too so I was thinking about doing that um, but uh, yeah so by the time I'm done with this car <laughs> it's gonna be so nice and clean and smell good and not smell like rat pee or mouse pee or whatever that was in there so anyway on to the next section okie dokie so what I have here is the final piece of the dash this is obviously the uh, speedometer and tachometer chunk of the panel it's actually in really good shape there's a few spots that are kind of kind of wonky like here where the vinyls coming off I'll, I'll uh, try to kind of warm that up with a heat gun or something and stick that down and fix that so it doesn't look too bad or come apart later on I'm, I'm kind of actually surprised at how good these gauges look there's only very minimal rust on them which is awesome especially considering pieces like this are so rusty so it makes me wonder if these gauges were ever replaced um, it's hard to tell what's been replaced on a car that is this old because you know these gauges could have been replaced 20 years ago for all I know um, and between that time and now uh, you know prior to them being replaced uh, these pieces may have just been sitting there and um, are original so they got rusty and, and these originals could be as rusty as these but yet 20 years ago got replaced and then the car was moved to Arizona and uh, you know where it didn't rust like that however I must say though that the um, car has been in Missouri for quite some time anyway so I'm gonna have to just gingerly go through this and pull everything out and clean it really well and do the same treatment that I did to this side that I did to the other one kind of wishing I'd bought new ball controllers or whatever these are called vents but these are okay they're not bad they're they're actually all right <clears throat> they're not broken they are just slightly a bit worn underneath you can see this uh, the original color actually this one's not bad the other one is a little bit more I what I guess is that like if you're driving this car and you're the owner and driver you will probably set this and just leave it and never touch it you know on your side but then the one that would be on the passenger side it's definitely had more use so I suspect that that passenger would change it when the pair would go for a ride husband and wife probably and then when he would drive or she would drive whoever's car it was uh, when the normal driver would drive they'd readjust that vent on the other side to where they liked it so that would cause it to get used probably very very much more often than this one um, <clears throat> so these gauges are in really great shape um, let me see if I can 
pick this up in such a way. There we go. That's a bit, bit better. They're in awesome shape. I mean, they're beautiful. There's a little rust on the screws right there. I might try to fix that. I, I have to get in there and replace that speedometer. Um, what you, what you call it? <laughs> um, needle. And so I'll be in there doing that. And this side just looks amazing. The only thing I can foresee even thinking about doing in there is just cleaning. But these are really actually quite clean. So also makes me think they may be newer than the rest of it. But, uh, whoops, dog bowls. <laughs> so anyway, that's where I'm at on this. Currently, I have disassembled what you see here. Um, it is probably obvious. I don't want to flip this actually now because I don't want to touch the ink on that. That ink is actually water soluble so you can't really even touch it without potentially ruining it. So I'm not even going to mess with that probably. Um, although I want to say I think that there may be a little piece that goes in there that's with the kit though. I'm not sure but these are the wheels that you roll to change the temp, and then there's these vacuum controlled uh, switches, which are actually kind of cool. Uh, as you move this, that lever moves forward or backwards. There we go. You can kind of see it moving. Um, I actually don't want to <clears throat> do that too much, but anyway, that's that. Um, I have, finally I found that I actually had some flat black plank, plank, <laughs> flat black plank. Um, so I'm in the process of trying to decide what I want to do about this. You know, you can see that it's pretty, pretty well dinged up. There's a lot of paint missing on it already. Same with this side. I'm tempted to tape this off and spray these with some clear, or not clear, um, with some gloss black to kind of make them look better and stand out. The thing would look pretty much brand new at that point. Um, this is all back in there, all looking nice. I just have pennies in here, you know, just to kind of hide the rust in the bottom of this. Might buy a new one of these. Um, not going to buy a new one of these, though, because, you know, I'm never going to use this. and. I'll probably take it out to um, install a USB port unless I can find um, some kind of nice little custom USB port that I could just mount up under the dash somewhere, uh, which is probably what I will do rather than have wires running to that thing. Um, let's see, what else do we have going on um, over here? It's kind of hard to see. Can I turn on the light? Yeah, cool. Okay, so um, here we have the back side of the AC uh, or the whatever you want to call them, the ducts here. Um, I've removed, unfortunately, you have to remove the very pretty switch that um, appears underneath this thing right there. Um, it's a really neat chrome switch, so I had to take that out, but uh, everything else should be good. Anyway, that's that's the part that goes on the top of this, of course. Um, this is all ready to go. I have not fixed the clock. I'm not going to mess with that right now. Um, just going to leave that, because who needs a clock when you're driving a Corvette? <laughs> I don't plan to have to be anywhere in my car when I take it out for a drive, so... Um, so anyways, that's where all that stands, and uh, I still need to decide what I'm going to do with these. I should probably just buy new ones or, um, or just fabricate some. I think I have some plastic that's about that thickness. It's only a few mils thick, but I don't know. I've seen others actually put a boot in here, um, so I'm not going to remove this, of course, but uh, kind of strange design, actually. You know, it's when your hand is on the shifter, you can't really see this uh, indicator over here, 
I think what they should have done is put the shifters right in the center and then put the indicator on this side. But that's just me. Anyway, that's where it is today. Okay, so I've pretty much rebuilt uh, this AC slash heater control module. I've gone through and cleaned everything up. Um, actually repainted this uh, piece here. Uh, or not repainted it, but I painted it because it was rusty, but I scrubbed it and wire brushed it and then gave it a sealing coat. Uh, this thing, which is black and chrome, um, actually is solid chrome, but I sprayed it and then scraped off what I needed to there, and it looks pretty good. Um, so, yeah, everything actually functions right of course actually i don't know it's gonna need some more work but that's as far as i've got it and i'm done with that for now